Hello friends, we're at the Naval Aviation Museum in AS Pensacola in the rework ramp out here where Chris Doseph of the Chappie James Foundation and this good looking airplane behind us looks a lot different than it did when we were over here on April 22nd. Chris, good to see you. What's going on back here behind you? Good morning, John, and thank you to Studio 850 for coming out here and uh, pr putting out this story because it's a fun one to, to talk to, talk about, and, uh, and we got a lot to say. When we were here before, most of this airplane was on a truck, and uh, a lot has happened since then. Uh, talk to us about uh, the paint, the colors here. Well, this particular paint scheme is the one that they utilized during Operation Bolo. In, F in essence, all the Air Force F-4s during that period of Vietnam were painted in this scheme. It's a three paint scheme, three color scheme, two greens and a, and a tan. And, uh, and then the nose cone, of course, is black, like, like it's depicted here. But this is the aircraft uh, style and paint scheme that they use out of Ubon, Ubon Thailand, an air base that they flew out of. And, um, and other, the entire Air Force fleet was painted and F-4 Phantoms were painted in this scheme. Um, when we first received the aircraft, it was painted in a white and a gray. It was a test aircraft utilized at Edwards Air Force Base. Uh, let's just say that it required a little bit of tender loving care, but the folks at Blastoff, uh, Tom Meacham and his crew, have, un have done a wonderful job restoring it and preparing it for its final paint. It's painted in a semi-gloss, so this way the aircraft will be more resilient to the weather elements here in Pensacola because they're pretty extreme when you take into consideration all the salt water, and it's going to be right there on the, on the bay. So uh, we've taken every precaution that we can. We're going to prepare it so that uh, it could be, it could deter uh, birds from sitting on it and hornets and bees from uh, establishing nests. So, uh, Chris, uh, mm -hmm. the people who... The foundation uh, has restored it. I understand uh, this morning that they uh, really are based, uh, their home base is over here in Atmore. They right. travel all over the world, I'm told. They do, and they've done all sorts of aircraft. Restoring aircraft. Uh, in so in that, fact, they've done the, rest, the one at the rest area here on 10. So we're not long here. The bridge is going to be completed pretty soon. What's next for the Chappie James Memorial? Well, from here, once we secure the, the completion of this aircraft and have it ready for static display, we'll be moving on to preparation for the plaza construction. That'll include permitting and then uh, marshalling those forces to get the ground ready and the con concrete ready uh, so we can build the perch and the plaza itself. Chris Doseph of the Chappie James Memorial Foundation giving us an update on this good-looking F-4 Phantom. Uh, I'm not sure what model it was, what the uh, Air Force fly. F-4 Charlie Delta model. And I just wanted to point out to you, John, that underneath this wing, it's called the outer wing panel, I actually did the sanding on this thing. <laughs> I'm taking pride of ownership, and uh, it passed inspection. Uh, but this paint job the Air Force used, as you said, uh, was a camouflage so that when enemy airplanes flying over this plane, airborne, would look down, they couldn't distinguish it from the jungle. But tell us about this paint on the bottom. Same sort of thing, right? In, in essence, if they were below the aircraft, it would camouflage itself from the sky. Uh, how effective it was, I'm not certain. Uh, I think the bigger, bigger effect was back in the day, these engines, these uh, J-79s were smoked engines, and they put out a lot of black smoke. And probably the most uh, significant evolution of the aircraft was when they adopted those smokeless engines because that then did not highlight them in the sky. Chris Joseph uh, with us talking about the restoration of Chappie James's airplane here bound ultimately for the memorial down near the, uh, the bridge here in uh, Pensacola. Chris, what are the next steps in this project? What are you looking for next? Well, we're going to be in the process of fundraising to be able to complete the project <laughs> excuse me, as expeditiously as possible. And um, I was going to point out to you that all F-4s got a tail hook. And the reason is this aircraft was put together by the Navy first and then adopted by the Air Force and the Marine Corps. So uh, it's, it's a, it was a, a universal fighter uh, in that all three services flew this aircraft that flew, that flew uh, fixed-wing jets, the Air Force, the Navy, and the Marine Corps. 